Hey, at work. Cool. Hey, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Good morning. Well, technically, it's not morning. No, actually, it is. Uh, right. It's afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. We Feels slept like, in. Yeah, we slept in. <laughs> Feels like morning to us. Feels like morning to us. Uh, this is uh, July the 5th, right? Yes. Yeah, day after the 4th. That's how that works. That's usually, yeah. Right, right. That's how that works. Anyway, um, it's uh, here in northwest Arkansas today. It's uh, surprisingly not all that hot. I'm not going to say it's surprisingly cool. Oh, no. No. No, no. It's in the high 80s. The wind is slightly, slightly blowing, maybe a breeze. Fortunately, but. where we're sitting here, which we'll show you more about that here in just a second, but what we really want to talk about is our air conditioner Ooh. that we got, which we're going to be, you know, we're, <laughs> we're getting uh, ready to uh, proceed on uh, getting it installed. And, uh, but where we are at this particular campground, it's in a heavily wooded area. And I would say we're in full shade in the trailer 85% of the day, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. And consequently, uh, because we insulated this trailer so well when we built it and everything, and the Max Air fan works like a champ, it's really not that uh, uncomfortable at night sleeping. Oh, no. At all. No, no. Not with no. the fan running. And yeah. Well, actually, we have two fans. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have two fans running inside, plus the Max Air fan that uh, exchanges the air, of course, and draws in the air from the outside. So it does help immensely. The humidity is kind of high in there, but, you know, we've lived in high humidity areas all of our lives, so that's really not that big of a deal to us. Not really. Yeah. No, no. But anyway, what we're really excited about is uh, our air conditioner was delivered day before yesterday. Uh, we got it from uh, RV Country. Is that the name of that place we got it from? I think so. I think so. RVCountry.com. I'll double check that and it'll be in, in the actual link to that particular site will be in the description of the video. And we felt like it was a really good price. In fact, it beat um, Amazon. Amazon. It beat Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. By quite a bit. By quite a bit. And uh, I'm not going to personally install the air conditioner myself. Uh, he thought he could. Well, and I could if I really had to, but let's put it this way she ain't gonna let me do it no is that right that's right you have right. no business climbing up on a ladder and trying to get up on top of the roof okay so there i'm sorry uh, <laughs> in this case I'm a not... broken leg does not go with my long-term plan well that's true and okay. so in this case i'm not going to argue with her that much thank you i hardly ever argue with her anyway because you know and even when we do argue in the end because you know I'm right. <laughs> I didn't even have to finish the sentence, did I? That's right. <laughs> anyway, so there are a couple of challenges involved with getting the air conditioner installed, and, and not really that much, but, and that's partially my fault because of the way we decorated everything with the, uh, the pine wood valances and things like that, and the fact that I have to build a chase that runs the wire down to the air conditioner. So... Here in a minute, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to walk inside and show you what I'm talking about. Some of you that have followed us uh, on our videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you saw how we uh, framed out the uh, Max Air fan in the front and everything like that. And you know that when we ran all of our wiring, we didn't run any wiring in the walls whatsoever. All of the wiring on this trailer is ran behind false panels so that I can get to any wire if I ever need to. And there was a reason behind that. I didn't want to take a chance on wires being run inside the walls where I'd literally have to, if I had an issue, I didn't want to have to take the, the paneling off the wall or anything like that to get to it. So, you know, a lot of forethought went into the way we ran all the wiring in the trailer. And, uh, but that's one of the reasons why. So I have the same, uh, I've got to do deal with the air conditioner mount the same way. So we're fixing to show you that. But uh, anyway, we're... Uh, what kind of air conditioner did we get? Oh, yeah. What kind of air conditioner did we get? Well, we were going to get the uh, Dometic uh, Penguin 2, which is the low-profile one. But I, was, but I was a little concerned about the Penguin 2 because it's a lower profile. It's also quite a bit longer. And where we're going to be mounting the air conditioner, over, over the kitchen galley at the back, I was a little concerned about the entire system uh, being too long 
to fit up there because of the distance I have where the rear vent is now where the air conditioner will go and the end of the trailer so uh, that was a concern so we ended up getting the brisk 2 which you know was about a hundred dollars less money too uh, what I don't like about the brisk 2 is that it is taller but our trailer all all together compared to other RVs like all the RVs that we see sitting around here our trailer is not near as tall anyway as most of these trailers so having the taller body of the brisk 2 up there isn't going to be an issue at all I just like the streamlined look, you know, but a uh, hundred bucks is a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. And I sure would hate to have uh, taken a chance and got the penguin two low profile one. And then after I go through all this, uh, figure out that uh, it wouldn't work. And then we'd have to start completely over. So we're not in a position where we want to take that chance. So anyway, uh, we're going to shut this part down and I'm going to go to another segment here and I'm going to show you what the challenges are. Uh, what I've got to do on the inside and then we're going to leave it open after that and we'll do another follow-up video later on after we actually get the air conditioner installed and show you how, what we did to uh, to build the balance around it and you'll understand more what I got to do here in just a little bit but for now we're going to show you what we got to do and maybe in the meantime some of you might have an idea that you can toss out at me because I'm not going to start building this out today you know so we've got a little bit of time here uh, between now and when we have the gentleman scheduled to, uh, to actually install the air conditioner. So we're going to move on to the next segment. Okay, first let's step in here and I want to show you how I did the trim around the Max Air Fan in the front part of the trailer. Oh, and there's Delilah. Hey, Delilah. Yeah, say hi. She's being a little bit of a brat today. Yeah, we put her on her collar and then we take her outside and then she tries to figure out a way to get out of it. And uh, then she sneaks off, so <laughs> we gotta watch her real close, don't we, dear? Yeah, Every yeah. Minute. She's she's in that stage where she's like a rebellious teenager. Is that I what was it is. thinking the terrible twos. Oh, the <laughs> terrible twos? <laughs> well, Either one. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, that's something we have to deal with, you know, but it's all right. We got her under control or well, she has us under control. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. She's got us under control. All right. First, what I want to show you now, this is, uh, and it's, and I'm in tight quarters here, of course, but this is, uh, our max air fan that's up front. And this is the way I installed it. And then of course I framed around it here. Let me pull this back as far as I can possibly get it here. So you can see how I've got that all framed around like that. I was going to use the regular uh, plastic white uh, trim ring that they provide with the fan. But then I got to thinking I, I, I've, I want to stay with this uh, pine look. So I went ahead and built my own frame around it like that. And we did a video covering that here a while back. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But uh, anyway, it's there. Now what I had to do, the wiring uh, comes through here and goes down this chase and the main wire which what I use to wire this fan where I run the power from my control center which is behind this door my 12 volt control center is behind this door uh, I use number 10 stranded uh, to come up through here and feed up to this fan I found a really neat chart that tells you it on your 12 volt circuits it tells you what size wire you need to run based on the length of the run and what the total amp draw will be on the particular appliance that you're, you're powering. So uh, based on this chart, it said that I needed to run number 10 wire uh, because of the length of the run and you know there was other factors involved. In fact, I'll uh, see if I can figure out a, a link to that and put that up here as well for you. Now, where I made the connection between the two is in this box right here. Now the wiring, it comes up and I don't know if you can see it right here or not, because it's kind of dark in there but the wiring goes around through here and it's all where I have excess up uh, to it up there all the wires are loomed out properly as well with their own uh, mm -hmm. clips to hold them in place and I have a fresh clip about every 12 inches or so sometimes less to make sure that all the wiring is supported uh, quite well uh, you know while you're traveling down the road so the wire the main wire that feeds it comes through here 
and then I made up the connection right here between the two and then I have this where I can get to it if I ever had to of course with this little shallow box built here so I had to do this drop down chase for this wiring to run down uh, to my fan here uh, to make it work right and this fan I wanted to I want to say something real quick about the max air fan we absolutely love this thing Now we got the basic one that has four speeds and it's manually operated we didn't get the one that you can use a remote with but man this thing just performs flawlessly it is absolutely awesome it's not uh, super loud at all even on the highest setting and what's neat about it too you can even run it while it's raining which we have done that several times so anyway now we're going to move up front and show you what we got up there maybe right back in just a little bit we're going to go over there to the other part okay so this is where the air conditioner is going to be mounted here at the back right here and what I've got to do because I want to build a, a valance like I did up front so they'll match I've also got to build a chase for my wiring to run down through that uh, comes up to the air conditioner of course to, to feed power to it and the uh, as I, I'm pretty sure that the power comes out or where the power needs to be fed is at the front uh, corner right here which would be the passenger side of the trailer on the front that's where the power has to come in at but I'm pretty sure that's where it has to go so what I'm gonna have them do now I'm gonna have them go ahead and install the air conditioner and there's a plate that mounts here below I'm gonna have them go ahead and uh, install the plate um, but then I may have to loosen that plate drop it down a little bit once I determine exactly how I have to build my chase uh, to run my wiring down to get to the air conditioner to feed it which that's the part that I will handle right there so for right now that's where we're at on that and uh, what we'll do is we'll do a follow-up video later and show you what we come up with on that what we're going to getting ready to go do now is I'm going to take some photos down and go see the uh, guy that's going to be installing it for me and uh, get some input from him and then uh, later on down the road we'll do a follow-up once we get everything installed and I get the balance all built out and show you how we did it and I'll probably take a few photos along the way as I'm building it so you can see how I did it but anyway we're gonna we're gonna as far as that's concerned we're gonna go ahead and drop that part right now and uh, we'll pick it up a little bit later and are you reading the instructions yes you are yes so that's my job that's your job to read the instructions Yes. because men don't read instructions. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Well, uh, I think we'll be able to figure out how to get it all done. Uh, I mean, look at what we've done already, you know? Yes. Anyway. But, uh, and Delilah, you look quite uh, comfortable right now. I don't suppose you'd let me lay down there next to Mommy, would you? Probably not. You'd probably uh, be real irritated if I tried to, right? You think so, yes. dear? Yeah, she probably would. Anyway, we're going to say goodbye for now. Uh, just keep one thing in mind, folks. We're not uh, camping. We're living. Exactly. We're living. This is Bill and Dave with I Ride Tiny House Adventure saying we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.